Thank you for watching this video on Informatica Cloud. In this video, you will see a demo of new security and permissions functionality that will provide enterprise class access control as part of the Informatica Cloud Summer 2011 release. In Informatica Cloud, there is now the notion of a user group. If you're familiar with Salesforce.com, a user group is very similar in concept to a Salesforce profile. And to see this, by clicking on New to create a new user group, we see that we can now grant permissions, read, create, update, delete, and run permissions on top of the various objects that are within Informatica Cloud. Now, a very common example of how you would use this is if you were an organization that had two distinct groups, one for developers and one for the operations team. But the primary role of the developer community is to build all of your tasks, but it's operations responsibility to run and monitor those tasks, but not necessarily be able to edit them. So we take a look at our dev user group. They are allowed to create all of the various tasks and edit them, but they can only read and not modify some of the global objects within Informatica Cloud, such as schedules and connections, where that is the responsibility for the operations team, where they would create your connections and schedules to be used for Informatica Cloud for production, and they would be able to run all tasks created, but they would not be able to edit them. Now, these are the global properties, but these properties can be overridden at an individual object layer. So if we take a look at configuration, and if here's all of the connections that I have, now for the production Salesforce connection, we could, if we wanted to, override very specifically this connection where, you know, the dev team, actually, they should not have access to the production Salesforce account, they only get access to the sandbox, so you can remove the read permissions for them. Another example of overriding the permissions at an individual task level is if, let's say, we had some production tasks that were out there, and perhaps maybe this is one of the tasks that you actually did want to have the operations team have the flexibility to modify in case something went wrong and they did not necessarily need to go back to the developer team to modify that. So for this particular task, I could grant the update capability so that the ops team could modify this on their own. Lastly, to assign a user to a user group, just go to Users and Edit a User where down at the bottom under user security, under user groups, you would see all of the user groups that you have defined within your Informatica Cloud org. And you would just simply check the group or groups that you want this user associated with. Thank you for watching this video on Informatica Cloud. For more information, go to informaticacloud.com. Thank you.